Hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to get set up on BigQuery for free so that you can start uh, learning and practicing and doing SQL with an actual data warehouse uh, instead of uh, whatever you're doing now, like a little data camp um, IDE or whatever. I think using BigQuery, use the actual uh, tool that you're going to be using in real life uh, is the best method to learn. So anyway, um, to get started, I just Google BigQuery. You come here and uh, click Try BigQuery for free. You'll get 300 in free credits to spend on BigQuery uh, and a terabyte of queries for free per month and 10 gigs of storage. And I'll, I'll explain exactly how all this works in a different pricing video. But essentially, like when you sign up for BigQuery, you're going to create a free account, which will give you $300 in free credits. You have to put in credit card information, but it will not bill you until you manually upgrade. So if you go over this $300 in free credits, uh, you're not going to get billed. It'll just like cancel your account, which is like the great thing about BigQuery is uh, you can use it during a trial period, basically risk free with uh, without having to worry about getting charged. Um, so anyway, click try BigQuery for free. You need a Gmail account or a Google account. Um, really easy to set up a free Gmail account if uh, if you need to. Then it brings you to this page here. Uh, I just made this like fake email. Uh, and it'll say um, count type individual, and then I'm going to fill out this credit card information. Um, and then I'll see you on the other side of this. Okay, so now that you've entered your credit card information, it'll take you to a page like this. Uh, just hit close, skip for now. And this is uh, what it brings you to this is a Google Cloud account. So how Google Cloud works is it's set up under projects. So it automatically creates my first project for you and it'll just randomly generate this project ID. So this is your project ID. And then how BigQuery works is there's projects, there's data sets, which are kind of like folders for your SQL tables. And then there's tables and views underneath those data sets, which I'll, uh, I'll explain in, in another video. But anyways, to get to BigQuery from here, like what I would do is just pin BigQuery, um, which usually makes it go to the top here. Um, ta, my tutorial. Anyway, I don't know what happened there, but go to BigQuery in the search bar and it'll bring you to a UI that looks like this. So this is BigQuery. Um, over here on the left, you have a number of options, but the main one you're going to be working in is the SQL workspace. And so, um, yeah, you can actually just minimize this if you want. And then over here on the left, you'll have all your data sets and tables, which uh, we don't have any at the moment. But like this was our project ID, aerobic name. And then if you click this, um, we can create data sets and create tables and upload those here, um, which I'll explain in another video. This is your SQL editor where you'll write SQL. So, you know, select star from whatever. Like this is uh, where you'll be writing SQL that I'll show you in the other videos. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, how to set up a BigQuery account. Um, you will not be charged for BigQuery unless you click activate the free account. So as long as you uh, just don't activate the billing account, you won't be charged. Uh, I'll explain this in another video, but like $300 in free credits for BigQuery is a lot. You would never you know, hit that unless you were querying massive amounts of data. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, but anyways, it's it you're not going to be billed is, is basically the punchline unless you activate a free account. So I just wanted to make sure that's clear because I know I have 
lot of worries about like accidentally getting charged for some like cloud product that I don't understand how to use. Um, that actually happened to me one time, but a story for another, another time. But anyway, this is how you get set up on BigQuery. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to be talking about how to access public data sets so you can start actually writing some queries uh, against real data. So see you in that one.